the posse. We are here on day three. I'm up on top of the hill. Got a beautiful view up here. Um, unfortunately, my first bowl was nothing but a shotgun shell. Hopefully things will get better from here. It's rained all morning, but the rain's stopping, and um, looks like we'll have a good day hunting. Wish us luck. All right, we're back out uh, Saturday. Back out in the area where we were last night. And uh, first signal, and I got myself an uh, Indian head. I'm going to clean her up and uh, see if I could get a date off from it. If I could get a date, I'll be back at you with a date. All right, I did get a date off the Indian. Uh, it's a uh, 1908, so it uh, definitely wasn't dropped during the Civil War, but still, it's an Indian head, and uh, can't go wrong with that. All right, back at you. I thought that was something good, nice and green there. It looked like a old coin, maybe. Just a head stamp, nice and green head stamp. It's, it's an oldie, had the paper insert. Jeff, you might get jealous on that one, huh? Not bad though, kind of cool. Okay, it's day three. Um, been having a hard go of it so far. Um, this signal was all over the place, but I'm looking down in here. Definitely looks like a penny. One cent. And Abraham Lincoln, so it's a weedy. Not bad after a dry day. All right, I, uh, myself and John switched over and uh, we're in another field, a field that we we're in yesterday, finding stuff and I uh, first signal, good signal I had and uh, got me this little percussion cap. It, uh, this is an area where uh, Mike found a Virginia button and uh, John found a couple bullets up here. So uh, definitely in the right area and uh, gonna go around here a little bit more and see what else we could find. On to the next. Well, I found my second button of the trip and I thought I had another Civil War one, but um, we looked it up, it's a sweet ORR and it looks like people tug of warring. It's a two piece, just like the Civil War buttons are. So it's gotta be an older button um, it was kind of hard to see the screen, but um, looked like Sweet ORR was a clothing manufacturer. So I'll, I'll have to do some more research, see how far back these go. But um, looks like a nice old button. I like it. Would have been nicer if it was a Civil War regiment, but hey, I'm not complaining. All right, I've been uh, detecting for quite a couple hours already here, and. Finally dug my first bullet. It uh, looks like it uh, got crammed on the end with something. It's the back of it. And uh, it's a three ringer. But it looks like it hit another bullet. It might have been a double feed. That's pretty cool. Uh, I've never had one of them before. I've seen them before. It, uh, people have got them. Either that or it... Uh, you know, that's the only thing I could think it had. Uh, could have been. But, uh, all right, on to the next. Okay, I'm way out back. I uh, just found another Indian. The back is pretty nice, but uh, the front is pretty toasty. I can't get a year off it just yet. If I do, I will let you know at a later time. But right now it's going in the pouch and I'm going to continue on. Okay, I rubbed it a little bit with my glove and see if I can get close enough. There is a buffalo. It is a buffalo nickel. Pretty cool. Got John on the hilltop there. Bill not too far from him. Dave a little bit down the hill. Chris, I'm not sure where he is. He's somewhere over the hills. Uh, and I just dug what I think is my first toe tap. I've never dug a toe tap before so I'm not a hundred percent sure but um, from what I've seen of them I think that's what it looks like to me. Little hollow on the back. Nice on the front. Um, 
If I'm wrong, if this is something else, please let me know. But um, I'm thinking that's what it is. Can't wait to see what I find next. We just came across the street. That's where Chris parked. And I just dug my first hole and I got me an eagle button. Nice cuff button. Seems to be the theme for me for this hunt. My third button, my second one today. This one's intact. Got a nice shaft. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to see what I get next. Okay, there is my buffalo nickel hole. I literally moved less than three feet straight here. Dug down, pulled the stuff out. Got another corner. Like it's about penny size. I'll have to clean it up a little bit. Well, that's about five minutes after I got the Indian. Just pulled up a piece of silver and it has a hole in it. So somebody must have worn it as a necklace. I believe it is a half real. I can see it. it's very, very smooth. I can see some writing on it. I'm not quite sure, but I have to match it up and see. But uh, pretty sure it's a half real. John's over there putting a new coil on. And I'm just up the hill from where I found that button, and I just found another buckle. I'm thinking this one might have been silver plated at one time. Looks like a lot of the silver is still coming through. Rang up a lot higher too, rang up like a silver dime. So I was excited, thinking I might be getting my first seated. Got this buckle instead. I'm happy with that. My second buckle, it was a good six inches down, so I'm thinking it's probably still period with the buttons and everything else we're finding. Uh, the depth was right. That nice red soil there. We'll see what we find next. Alright, I just dug that bullet back here and uh, now I found this thing here. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if it's a old zipper pull or some kind of a trigger to maybe a small pistol or what the heck it might be um if anybody has any ideas uh please post it in the comments i don't even know if i could look it up uh, to find out what it is but uh kind of neat whatever it is if anybody has any like i said any ideas please post it in their comments okay on to the next well, those guys are over the ridge. Chris is trying to uh, film a fawn that's over there. Bill's digging. And I just got myself a bucket lister. Opened the hole and my eyes grew wide. I have never, never gotten a spur before. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm just in shock right now. Just amazed at uh, how nice this is. Um, gonna do with the yellow brick road circling around, see if I can find its brother. Well, I circled around for a bit there, didn't find the other spur. Walked around here, up and down, and just got here, and it's getting late. It's about 5.30, and I thought a day was going to finally go by without me finding half a horseshoe, but nope. There it is. Today's half horseshoe. Got to add that to the collection. Still waiting to find my first full horseshoe of the year. Oh, well. 
Well, I haven't had a good bullet signal all day. Finally just got one. It's a smush musket ball, obviously fired. Nice and flat, but still, it's my first bullet of the day, so I'll take it. And my very next hole, after digging half a horseshoe right there, I just dug another half a horseshoe. I guess it's that time of the night they're coming out to bite. When I was digging the last one, Chris yelled over, what'd you get? And I told him half a horseshoe. And he held one up and said, I just got one too. So that's three half horseshoes in about three minutes. I hope we're done. We'll see. Okay, I got a really weird signal, but it was repeatable. They seem to be like that over here. Uh, you can see it's a pretty deep hole, almost as deep as the pinpointer. Um, I raked everything out and I see something right here. It's like a coin. Gonna have to clean it up a little bit and get back with you. It's getting late in the day and uh, Mike and John have less, left a button hill here. Dave and I have not tried this yet, so we came up to see what they missed. We're kind of thinking that Mike missed two buttons up here, so we're looking for them. But they did miss a buckle, which is kind of cool. I'll take it. Much like Elmer Fudd says, it's time for Weston Wee Waxation. <laughs> We're back on the other side of the street again. That's Bill right there. Looks like Chris is digging down there. And I just dug my first hole. I believe it's half of a pair of old time spectacles. Rang up is a penny. I mean, it's obviously copper. Got a nice old green patina. It's been in the ground old i would say it's got the same patina an indian head penny would come out with so this could be half a pair of glasses somebody was wearing in the civil war the depth was right everything else we're finding around here is civil war relics so that's what i'm going with if anybody knows differently let me know but um looks like half a pair of spectacles to me Finds for the last three days uh, here in Virginia. It uh, found a couple uh, Type 3 Williams cleaners, uh, a couple other uh, mini balls, some Confederate, some Union, a couple round balls, um, some camp lead, a couple uh, percussion caps, 
and uh, two pretty cool things. One is uh, an old Boy Scout badge. I'm going to have to try to look that up. And uh, definitely a bucket lister for me is a J-hook. Uh, I have never found one. And uh, this is my first one, and it is in really good condition. And then I found uh, over by the camp lead, uh, I don't know what it is, an old zipper pull or a trigger off a small pistol or what it is. But uh, that's my finds for the three days. So this weekend I got a uh, Confederate infield fired bullet, a three winger, a small musket ball, a Williams cleaner, a couple of smashed pieces of lead, a little ornamental hanger, some pieces of brass little doodads, knickknacks, um, buffalo nickel, a couple of wheat pennies, and my favorite is a uh, draped bust half cent, which is the oldest coin I found to date, so really happy to have that. And I had to defend Kelly's honor with a giant washer. I'm not the washer queen, but it's as good as I can get. Simple, I got uh, four three ringers. That one smashed pretty good. I got two uh, shotgun things, a penny, and no clue what that is, but I thought it was kind of cool. So that's all. Not proud of it. Alrighty, on mine, I got a uh, looks like a little camp lead. Got one buckle at the end. I got a uh, smash bullet there, another smash round ball, a Williams cleaner. Uh, what was that one, Bill? Uh, Spencer's not a Spencer. Spencer. Yep. Is it Spencer? Okay, one Spencer. Pretty sure that's Civil War, just because of the patina. Not quite sure though. A couple of cow tags. Uh, not sure what that is, but like Dave, I thought it was cool. Got a spoon handle. I think this is another spoon handle. I'm not sure. Made out of iron. Two pieces of jackknife. It used to be one piece. A uh, little key lock to something. I'm not sure what that goes to. And I got, like John, I got the, the washer for the video. And then over to my coins here, I got the uh, Indian head. Don't know the year. I got my first real, so that's kind of a bucket lister. It is a bucket lister, but I have a better bucket lister over here. And I got a fatty Indian. And my find of the week was a 1972 Bachman Silver Edition pull tab. That's a bucket lister. I don't have any 72 Bachmans. Make sure you give a shout out to the people that make the uh, cow tags that make them look just like buckles when they're in the ground. So when you first see them, you think you found yourself a buckle. Yes, I did too. All right, and my finds. We'll start with the washer. Um, I couldn't let John and Chris have all the fun. I got a washer too. Got three buckles. Uh, this one in the middle, I really, really like the way that one looks. Uh, this one's kind of cool too. The only coin I found was a weedy, nothing special there. Um, everybody's telling me this isn't part of a set of spectacles, but I'm still calling it a broken spectacle. Uh, I found three bullets. I found a dropped pistol bullet, a couple shot bullets, a um, little bird tag or something, kind of interesting, some horse tag. I found a um, cow tag too. I found three and a half buttons, but the buttons I found really, really cool. I, I found an eagle button. I found a Virginia button and uh, the sweet ore. We looked that up and that goes back oh, almost 150 years. So it's still period or pretty close to it. Um, found this knife that we were arguing whether that's period or not. It probably isn't, but maybe it is. It and is. It is. And I think my find was definitely the spur. Uh, that was just, my eyes lit up when that popped out of the hole. And um, that is the, the best one, I think, out of everything I found. And that is everything. All right, well, we're wrapping up another good hunt. Three days down here in Virginia. At times it was slow going, but overall we got some good stuff. And we are going to celebrate with a Vienna Lager by Devil's Backbone, brewed here, down here in Virginia. So a nice local beer. And 
And that is a wrap. That's, That's a, wrap. a wrap. You missed us. You missed us. Ooh, that really is a good beer. Kelly, he really had a beer five minutes ago. <laughs> that is good beer. They know how to make these down yeah. in Virginia. I could drink this. Yeah, me too. That's good. In fact, I think I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Go get some Raisin Brand. Take off, eh? We'll see you next week on the Relic Posse.